Hej, hej. You as good at Wii Bowling as you are at real bowling? I only played Wii Bowling once. I never owned a Wii. Played it once at like a buddy's birthday party. Thanks to the membership lemon. Thanks to the resub shidosis. You see the Elden Ring mobile leaks. No, that's news to me. Thanks, resub Zach. Is that real? Are they doing an Elden Ring mobile? Thanks to the resub Skeddy and Lunative. Hey, Edgar. And thanks, Spork. No, the Drake leaks are about his cock. So today a video came out of him stroking his meat. Things that resub terrific in the prime banana. Thank you for the 10 gift subs, wise old Trey. Thank you for that. Did not see that, Kingly. Things the membership, Tim. How did this get a sequel? Because it costs no money and it makes money just by being shocking because it's Winnie the Pooh. And thanks, JB. Hello, Undead and Megadeth. Membership, Andy. His dick was so floppy. Well, that's because it was like at least 11 inches. Like the blood was struggling to get all the way to the end. Shit was crazy. Man had a war hammer. There's a membership, Farmington. And the resub, AJL. They give sub, Ecstasy. Now let's talk about it. Drake big as the Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah, I, that's that's a way to phrase it, I guess. Thanks to the membership chorus. And milk. Membership wizard. Hey, hope it all goes well, Ben. Thanks to membership flaws. In Zaina. Happy early birthday. Thanks to Tier 1 Mac Daddy. Everyone discussing meat like the cock council. Well, it was a big deal. It was all over the place. I He even addressed it himself. I, I don't know if it... I guess I didn't bother to check if it was real or not on his Instagram story. But apparently he said, I wasn't hiding my meat from the world. I was hiding the world from my meat. Signed, Pappy. I don't know if that was real or not, but regardless, that's applicable. That shit was huge. Thanks to Tier 1 Amelia. That was confirmed fake. Hey, still profound. That's super sweet. Well, thank you, Spork. Tell her I said thanks. Glad you like the MWL as well. That shit was like the battering ram the police use, not gonna lie. I know, man. It's crazy. Thanks, Weston. <clears throat> what do you mean, what did I expect? It, it, Drake is it, Drake has, like, this very sensitive reputation. He gets clowned on all the time. Like, I would not expect him to be packing. I guess just all of the goofiness that he's engaged in over the years ruined... What a lot of people would have expected from him in that department. Thanks to the 
resub since so in the prime Mattis and membership Daryl. The prime animosity. Oh, that's a wild first result then, Arrow. Nice. Thanks for the five gifted members, Troy. Is it tier one hin? Yeah, of course I'd 1v1 him. I'd lose, but I'd try it. Not very good at the game. And I did not see that flaw. He took the video in his jet, right? I don't know the lore. I don't know anything about it other than the video was just posted all over Twitter today. So I figured I'd get out ahead of it and just let everyone know that, yeah, I also saw it. What did you think about the Grammys? Didn't watch, so I don't know. Is it tier 2 hidden? Hey, Boom. Hope you're well. <clears throat> Thanks to the resub Arisen. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth State of Play was today. The game looks amazing. They did another State of Play for it? It comes out in like two weeks. I, it does look good from everything I've seen. Thanks to Prime Eidos. So glad to hear it's still looking good. Is the video even confirmed to be Drake? I think, based on everything that was being discussed. But again, I, I didn't go pixel by pixel myself to confirm if the meat belonged to Drake or not or anything. Thanks to Resub Papa Fox. And True Divine. I, I feel bad for the actresses in that movie as well, because Madam Web is doomed for failure. That movie looks like trash, and even they know it, which is a shame. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, Megadeth. Glad you enjoy it. A demo dropped too, and they made the combat even better. For Rebirth? Well, that's good. Thanks you said bread. I guess that's kind of cool sounding, Spork. Yeah, we talked about the Xbox rumors about going to PlayStation. And thanks, Bloob. We gotta at least try the final shape with Jackson when it drops. I'm sure we will. I'm just... Not excited for it anymore after Lightfall. And yeah, he was radical. Are you a Green Day fan? Thoughts on the new album? I liked Green Day when I was a kid. I don't really listen to them much anymore. And I didn't listen to their new album. But I do know they have a new album. I just haven't listened to it. Thank you for the five gift subs again, Metalhead. Hope you're having a good night. Have you seen the Mizkif drama? Uh, I caught some of the cliff notes. Like, I saw the ring footage that was posted by Mitch, which was clearly <laughs> edited. Like, I don't know if you're trying to make a statement why you would edit that footage, unless you're trying to hide certain elements of it, but regardless, he still ended up looking like the one in the wrong... But I don't know too much about the situation. I didn't look too deep past, like, the footage and then, uh, like, his stream clips talking about it. There's a resub apparition in the gift sub. Stalin. I'm 
Have you watched the Yu-Gi-Oh! Chronicles video? Kind of hype. Yeah, from their animation studio. We watched it yesterday. Just haven't done one in a little bit, Dave. This is not easy to do, really. Like, finding good ones. Is the resub humbug? Heard about what's going on with Meta MetaZoo TCG? You mean the lack of things going on because they shut down? I saw. Whoops. Is the resub jolly? It's coming, Jackson. Thanks for the membership, soul. And no, I wouldn't dye my hair. Megamind 2 in this series looks like trash. Thanks for some Jake and Compton. The membership trapping. <clears throat> what is a TCG? Tradable, or, yeah, tra trading card game. Apparently the CEO was dumping product on the secondary market for MetaZoo. I didn't hear that. Well, thanks for the 10 gift subs, Hen. Appreciate that, man. And there's a membership kamikaze. But I, I don't think that would have led to the death of the card game. Show us your shuffle dance. Well, I can't really do it on carpet very well, and I'm barefoot. You'll see more of it as I get better at it. I'll be busting that shit out all the time. Things are some cursed in the membership Kiwi. <laughs> Thanks, Kiwi. Still one more music video for the gentlemen that we haven't released yet. Thanks to the resub dog. We'll release that within the next week or two. It's almost done. Thanks, membership, Rob. Add glow sticks to your shoes for the added effect. I could just get the light up sketchers. Thanks, resub Nin. Thanks, Colton. No. Will you be playing Dragon's Dogma too? Oh, of course I will. There's the Prime Cheyenne. Membership G. Will you hear about the streamer that got his hand cut off in China by a dude he had beef with? That's old, right? That's the guy with the, sa the uh, samurai sword, right? And you can see, yeah, this was back in 2023. You can see, like, his hand fly off after it. Was this, like, recirculating or something? Because it's not new. Still sucks. But it's not, like, new. Thanks, Rain. I don't know. Maybe I'll go to EDC and bust out the shuffling. We'll see. There's the Prime Palace. And absolutely was nervous about it, Debbie. Everyone is at the start. That's pretty cool of entertaining. That's sweet. I'm wishing her the absolute best dog. I hope she pulls through. I hope everything's alright. I think this is Risa Bombi.
I'm I'm certain, Colton. And hope you're doing well, Jack. I did see the streamer who beat Margit with Morse code. Thanks a membership, Guerrero. The Prime Ollie. Drake nudes leaked? It'll, uh, dick leaked. Which I guess is nudes, but you can't see butthole or anything, so it's not like full nude, I guess. We'll see, Breezy. The show itself comes out pretty soon. So we'll know. And I think they're still doing that show, Walls. I'm not positive. Can I go inch for inch with Drake? No, absolutely not. But the man was packing like 11 inches at least. Very few on the planet can. That's a very rare feat. If you had to choose one, dancing or bowling? Bowling. Perfect game would just be amazing. And I'm excited for Epic Universe as well. Thanks for membership score. In your opinion, what's the shittiest song you've ever listened to? Well, it depends. Do you mean like popular song or just any song? Because I, I, I'm very familiar with some abhorrent creations. That n nobody will have ever heard of. So it's not really worth. For popular song, though, I'd have to really think about it. There's been some fucking super stinkers that got popular. I don't know what Dance Crush Stardom is. First time I heard of that. Who do you have winning the Super Bowl? Chiefs. And yeah, we already talked about Megamind stuff. Is that right, Alucard? Maybe they are. But I doubt it. Would you ever get into golfing? We golf occasionally, super casual. I, I don't think I'd ever get into golfing, though. That That's very difficult and takes lots and lots and lots of training. And yeah, we were already talking about the Drake leaks. That's why it's in the title. Thanks, like said Bob. This is a resub A. Any plans on playing the demo? No, I don't think so. I mean, the game's only a couple weeks out. I don't think I'm going to bother playing through the demo. Just might do that, Katie. And probably not, Bench. And yes, we has we we have done that cat. You see, Gina Carano is suing Disney over her firing from Mandalorian and Elon Musk supporting her. Can't say I did. How is Elon Musk supporting her? Is he a lawyer or is he like financing it? Cuz doesn't she have a ton of money already? What would more money do to help? Did you bring up the alien from earlier today to Charles Sr.? We need the certified mark. Oh yeah, he thought it was a bunch of fucking baloney too. He's just financing it. She's not exactly struggling for money, but I guess that help. I guess that helps. Thanks, Reese of Isaac. If you won't have to pay for it herself, I guess. He's a tier one cast. He's a recent cantaloupe. Let's look at Drizzy's Schmeet on stream. I can't do that. That's off the table. I 
Thanks, Lean. I love Arkham Knight. I, I've said a million times, if Arkham Knight didn't have the Batmobile as often as it does, like if it wasn't a prevalent part, or if they just fucking removed it outright, that game I think would be considered by everyone to be the strongest of the Arkham trilogy. I think it is incredible. I love Arkham Knight. Thanks, Jonathan. And the game holds up so well. It looks so good. Came out in 2015, but it looks like it could have come out today. It looks significantly better. Oh, look, here's even a comparison. It looks significantly better than Suicide Squad. Like, just look at that. The downfall is actually insane. I know. It's tragic. It's such a beautiful game. They were ahead of their time with the visuals in that puppy. Is the resub Orpheus? Skull and Bones supposedly dropping next week. How low are your expectations for it? I have no expectations. They're not low, they're not high. I do not know what to expect. Thanks to the resub Jericho. Do you think the Batmobile critique of Arkham Knight is valid? Oh yeah, it sucks. Batmobile and Arkham Knight is some dog shit. Very valid critique. Oh, nice flaws. Hey, thanks for the resub, PSP. By the way, a trailer for VTM Bloodlines 2 has already dropped after like four years in dev hell. Thanks for membership, John. VTM Bloodlines 2. Oh, Vampire the Masquerade. Let me see. I'll check out the trailer. Like this. All those marked freaks were waiting outside. And yet none appear to have entered. Never heard of this. Vampire the Masquerade was like a cult classic. Perhaps to him this is an orderly chaos. Nosferatu I don't know what Wendy's secrets. movie is. This is merely another way to hide them. I appreciate it, Alexi. I've talked about that a lot, Chance. I thought the game was good, but not, like, amazing or anything. And no, I have not followed that bill. That was cool. It's like the Red Dead Dead Eye, but for Wing Chun. Am I interrupting? Oh Jesus Christ! It's you. No and no, Nick. Willem, I take it. Appreciate it, Philip. You had some interest. And I've never really gotten into Ace Attorney. Expecting trouble? That depends. 
Why hey, C-Reacts, thanks for the reset. Why are you here? Polly tells Drake's cock leaked. Secrets, that was the leak. And its histories. Earlier tonight, another kindred by the name of Isabella... It was just a video of him playing the skin flute. Do you know anything about it? No. No, 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 no. All I had to do was keep my head down for just a few more nights. He's hiding something. Tell me, Willem. What rumors have you heard about me? That you were there in Cairo. They, they called you the Slayer. I have been many things to many people. And what will I be to you, Willem? And to this lonely, forgotten warehouse? You're exactly what he said you'd be. I guess that makes it easier. Makes what easier? What happens next? Now I have to do what he told me. Willem, why? I mean, I'm excited for it. That's all very early, f like, alpha shit. But it looks good. And I don't, I don't know anything about the movie, Danny, but maybe? Mm -hmm. And yeah, Ultra Kill's a good game. Thanks, membership nod. I did not see that nod. I don't know yet, dog. I might moist meter it, but I haven't started it yet. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Maybe I'll start it tomorrow. And yeah, Maria, I like that game. Thoughts on the plot hole regarding Rick and Evelyn's son in The Mummy Returns? Which plot hole? There's there's quite a few plot holes in the mummy in the mummy returns. They're not perfect, but they're still my favorite. Which which plot hole are you referring to? When is Nintendo Direct? No clue. Oh, of course I've seen those AI president things. And thanks, Pearl. And thanks to the resub. Elmastic. What do you mean by that, Zayden? You can just type in the normal chat, brother. But yeah, I can't I can't watch that if there's song in it. Hey Charlie, I did those fifty push ups. What should my next goal be? Another fifty. If your arms are still able to type that easily, you didn't do enough. Your chest should be so fucking pumped that you can't actually reach the keyboard properly anymore. You'll have to one finger type it from like a side angle. Have you heard of or played Lobotomy Corporation by Project Moon? I've heard of, but haven't played. His age versus when the two met. I just thought it was silly. Yeah, it is. I mean, his age is definitely a plot hole in The Mummy Returns, but it doesn't... <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter that much in the movie. But that is... It is a bit of an oversight. Have you heard of the... The what tribe? The Dogon tribe would be great to show your dad and one of the most interesting things I've ever read. I'll look it up. Does it have to do with aliens? Because my dad probably knows about it if it does. Let me type in like extraterrestrial or something. Oh, they claim that they've come in contact with aliens. My dad's big thing that he always preaches about is fucking Puma Punku. I brought this up at least fucking five times on stream over the years because my dad loves 
the mystery of Puma Punku. Even though it's not that much of a fucking mystery. It's kind of already been cracked, but he just doesn't believe the official explanation because my dad, he's like an, you know, he's like an engineer. And he just really doesn't believe that people back then would be able to make these cuts on these blocks. And that's the thing he harps on a lot. Thanks for membership, Dav. And I don't think Jack and Daxter's ever coming back, unfortunately. At least not with Naughty Dog. And no, no recommendations on that, Philip. Hope you find a good one, though. We watch Tokyo Vice. We're planning on watching Shogun. I've heard of neither of those. He just really thinks people back then were stupid as fuck. He, he really does. He thinks not only were they stupid, they just didn't have tools to make cuts on stone. Well, at least cuts like this on stone. The H blocks. Oh, that is interesting, Adonis. I'll have to check that out. I'll look more into that tribe. So how did they do it? According to my dad, the aliens did it for him. We don't, he doesn't have an explanation as to why. He just thinks the aliens came down here and just fucking started carving H on these blocks. <laughs> he, 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 he doesn't really have like a, a reason as to why. He just says, well, we can't know. They're smarter than us. And I'm like, damn, that's such an easy cop out. Oh, I plan on it, Q. The series is great, so I do plan on playing it. I'm glad you enjoyed it, PM. Your dad's in the Bowling Hall of Fame, so you've met Pete Weber many times. That's pretty fire. And congrats to your dad for making the PBA Hall of Fame. I'm excited for it, dog. Did you see Oklahoma had the second biggest earthquake in its history on Friday? I did. I saw the headlines. Thanks to Resub Slasher. What was it? It was a 5.1. I met Jack Doherty. He was very cringe. Go to 1148 in his video. Surprising my girlfriend with 400k Lamborghini Urus. I am that Minecraft kid. I'm sorry to hear you also met him. That guy super sucks. It's not a persona. That guy just actually sucks. I met him too. Four years ago. He sucked back then. If aliens did help make it, why the hell would they only use stone and not give early, early humans advanced metal or something similar? Are they stupid? That's what I said. <laughs> like, I... We're, we're just... I'm basically just reliving like our arguments that we have back and forth and they're not arguments like they're good spirited but like I always say if the aliens did this why and he just says well we can't know they're smarter than us <laughs> okay and then I say if aliens did this why are they still using primitive shit you could have easily made this out of like metals or something and usually what he'll say is he they want that the aliens wanted to teach humans how to do it to help them advance or something along those lines and i'm like if they wanted to do that why didn't they leave any other messages or instructions and he says they did it's called the pyramids they're perfectly aligned with orion's belt it's their message to us and i say what is that message he's like well we don't know they're smarter than us we can't possibly know and i'm like well it's a fucking ineff in a very ineffective message then isn't it
Thanks to the membership Hubble. Did you like Arkham Knight's story? I thought it was so stupid. Joker was in the game even after he died. Oh, I thought the Arkham Knight story was great. I, like I said, I loved Arkham Knight. For dealing with hot sauces like the bomb, I found that eating unsauced naked wings will help will help cut the burn. I think it's the meat and oil that helps. I can see that kind of working. It's usually fats that help. I used to watch Ancient Aliens back in the day, bro. The shit they come up with is hilarious. They unironically said the Bible story about Jonah being swallowed by a whale is false. He was actually abducted by an alien submarine. We talked about that yesterday. Yeah, my dad fully disavows... 99% of ancient aliens, but really believes that they know their shit when it comes to the pyramids. And I guess Puma Punku by extension, because they covered that. They have a whole goddamn episode on, like, Sasquatch being an alien. Or dropped off by aliens or something, I already forgot. Goddamn right, Butter, that's what they should have done. I heard of neither of those two things, Nate. Those are both new. Thanks to Reese of Hero. Boneless or bone-in? I used to be firmly on team boneless, but now it just really depends. If I don't mind putting a little extra effort into eating, I'll get bone-in. But if I'm really lazy and just want the, the protein and the flavor quickly, I'll do boneless. Bone-in is just kind of an investment because you're going to get messy. And you're going to have to like clean your hands in between and shit. So it's just a little more effort. Jesus Christ, that's awful. Gaze, that's fucking terrible. I don't know if links work in chat, but if they do, you can try it. I'm sorry to hear that. Have you heard of the Intergalactic Federation? That's part, that's kind of kind of part of the sp uh, secret space program they're adjacent but yes i am familiar they, this even got referenced in 2020 if you guys remember this former israeli space security chief says extraterrestrials exist and trump knows about it he said a galactic federation has been waiting for humans to reach a stage where we will understand what space and spaceships are so this kind of kicked that whole thing off I think we're still doing something, Strand. I sent him some things. I'd love to. What's the most heated alien argument you had with your dad? I don't know. Heated's just not the right word. Because it's always comical. Like, we're usually both giggling. But he's very passionate about it. So I guess he kind of gets heated. He'll start, like, really, like, raising his voice about it. He's like, Charlie, I built cars for fucking 50 years. I know engineering. The people back then didn't have the tools or the fucking brain power to build the pyramids. It's simple engineering, son. When are you going to stop being so stupid? But, like, he's not being mean about it. He's just getting, like, really animated. I 
Speaking of ancient aliens, remember that episode where they said giraffes used to have short necks? Blame it on the aliens? Or am I on crack? That sounds like ancient aliens. There was even a whole meme for a while that was passed around Reddit where they had Sukulos, who my dad fucking loves. <laughs> Before I, like, watched more ancient aliens outside of the homework he assigned me with the pyramids episode, my dad was like, Charlie, you gotta look at this guy. His name is Giorgio Sukulos. He knows his shit. And then it turns out he's the guy from all the memes where he does this and it just says, aliens. He's that guy. And I, I, I felt almost shame. I was like, Dad, no. Not Sukulos. This can't be your expert source. It can't be. And sure enough, it was. And Sukulos is like the worst offender of just... <laughs> blaming everything on aliens. So in one of... In the Pyramid episode, I think it was Sukulos, there was like a speculation like, this pyramid didn't have a tomb in it. So then why was it the way that it was? And Sukulos comes in and said, well, it's because they were communicating directly with aliens in the intergalactic cosmos far, far away. And he's like, well, do you have a source for that? Like, that's that's quite a leap. Like, how, do you, how do you know that? Sounds like he's just messing with you. Doesn't sound like he actually believes it. No, 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 no. No, that's... You couldn't be more wrong. Since I was a child, my dad has been on the aliens and pyramids. I remember being a baby boy, a toddler. And my dad would try and have these profound talks with me where he'd sit me down and be like, Listen, son, it might not be this year. It might not be 10 years. It might not be 20 years. But one day, you're going to see... We're going to find out that the aliens <laughs> built those fucking pyramids. We will we will learn that the aliens helped us advance in our primitive stages. I, I remember as far back as my brain will allow me that he has always been on that since day one. He's committed to the joke. It's it's not a joke to him, I'll tell you right now. He's Even tonight, he texted me. He's like, so I see you talked about those stupid garden alien potato things or whatever. What did he say again? He say, what's that new alien vid? Bunch of bullshit. You gotta do one about Puma Punku. <laughs> Love you. That was at 8.23. He is, al <laughs> he is always on alien mode. Thanks to the resub, Ahmed. I th you know what it is? I talked about this on stream. I'll mention it again. I think what happened is, my dad, when he was a teenager, he just, he always, like, believed that. Like, he just really, because my dad is, like I said, he does so much engineering and has his whole life. He just really can't wrap his head around people back then being able to make, like, sophisticated stuff, like pyramids and uh, fucking giant H's, I guess. And I think he probably, for a while, harbored this belief that it must have been the aliens because it's so advanced, but was probably more open-minded to it, like, to being proven wrong, like, hey, no, that's not what happened and here's how they did it, which we have a lot of evidence to support a lot of theories on how these things were made. But what happened, what really cemented him in this way, is my dad's roommate was a, what was he, a U.S. Army lieutenant? No. Major? I think it was a major. I can't remember the order. But he, he was a, he was a pretty high-ranking, like, a person in the military. And he worked at a McDill Air Force Base, which is a huge Air Force Base in Tampa. And they were roommates for the longest time. Even, like, after leaving the military, they remained roommates, remained very close. And he was an alcoholic, unfortunately. It, very sad set of circumstances. He was not in a good way. But my dad swears by this story that he was telling the truth. One day, his roommate came back, fucking blasted, per usual. And he told my dad that, to, like, that day on the base, they had recovered an alien corpse. And that MacDill Air Force Base had an alien body there. 
And my dad swears by it. Fucking swears by it that he wasn't being lied to. He was in his right mind enough to reveal that information. Like, he, he's usually very tight-lipped. This isn't something he would normally do. It probably rattled him to the core. And I think that was the moment. The, the switch was flipped in my dad's brain where it's like, okay, I'm right. These are... The aliens are here and they've been here. I think that's what happened. When really... What I think happened is the guy had a lot of mental problems, alcohol abuse, a lot of terrible things, and I think it may have just been associated with that. I don't think they actually had a fucking alien body on the base. There's a tier one extreme in the resub, highest Kage. And Gugu and Tom. And Fart. You need to try Slim Chickens. Beats KFC and Popeyes. I'll check it out. I've never tried Slim Chickens. Thanks for the membership, Octo Dad. You gotta find that guy and see if he was telling the truth. Well, I need a Ouija board for that because he's dead. Yeah, he passed away. So that information is, uh... That, that's with him now, in the afterlife. The aliens got him. He knew he knew too much. That's probably what it was. Hey Patrick. Thanks for the gift sub couch. What kind of information do you think was lost in the Library of Alexandria? You don't think the Egyptians had sophisticated tools? Well, hey, what the fuck? I have been firmly on the side of the people back then were still very smart, very resourceful, and actually had a very good understanding of, like, tools and, and all of that. They had the means at their disposal to make these things. You're, wait, you're barking up the wrong tree. I'm on your side. Thanks to Reese Hubie. But as for the Library of Alexandria, God only, knew, God only knows what information was lost in that. They had Stanleys back then. Yeah, that's... Yeah, they probably fought wars over Stanley Cups back then. I did more research on Sukalos. Motherfucker unironically said Excalibur was an alien laser weapon. That does sound about par for the course. That's this. That's the Giorgio Sukalos I've come to know. Archaeology degree checking in. The thing with Puma Punku is simply we have not found the tools they used... Look up Cyclopean masonry. Ancient Greeks and Romans saw these walls saw these walls of huge, perfectly fit stones and figured, surely only Cyclops could have built this. A thousand years later, we figured out what tools they used and decided the OG theory was cringe. Well, from what I recall, and it's been years since I bothered digging into Puma Punku, they actually did find the molds for tools they used to carve out the H-blocks, and the tools, like the molds, what they were making would be able to make those cuts. So I don't think there's a lot of mystery left to it, from what I remember. Thanks for five gift subs, Harvey. I appreciate that. You ever wonder if there was a case that we did see actual proof of alien life, but just wrote it off as fake because it looked so unbelievable? I don't think anything that the general public has ever seen was alien, like real alien life. But I do think there's probably been, like, maybe something through, like, one of the, like, I don't know, maybe the James Webb telescope or something that they've seen. It's like, oh, that's, like, actual alien life that they just haven't published. That's what I think. I don't think there's anything layman like you and I would have seen. Does your dad believe in the men in black? If so, what are his thoughts on them? No. He does not. Thanks for the membership, Ion. My dad's very, like, matter-of-fact, very, like, <laughs> empirical, no-nonsense, no baloney, with, like, everything except aliens, ancient aliens. <laughs> That's the one thing.
Thanks, cool baiting. Thanks the membership, Lucas. You should definitely watch UFOs investigating the unknown in Hulu if you haven't already. I have not. I'll recommend it to my dad, though. He loves all of that. Thanks, Resub Spongy. The statistics of there not being alien life is unfathomably high. Is unfathomably higher than the statistics of there not being life. The chances of us intersecting is also astronomical. I've said a million times. I firmly, truly believe there's alien life out there. I just don't think it has ever crossed paths with Earth. I, I really don't think that's happened. Ever. Thanks for the gift sub, Usman. If any light we capture from space is light years and light years away, do you think any image we'd capture of potential alien life would be long dead or extinct? There's a term for that. I can't remember what it is, but that is uh, like a thing that gets tossed around. I can't remember which one that is, though. These are the three gift subs, Anastasia. And the resub, Vinlana. And tier one, Winter. People can't possibly fathom how big space is. It's crazy. It is. What was the... I've mentioned this like three times, and every single time I have to preface this by saying I forgot exactly what it is. But it's something like, if you travel... Uh, what was it? It's something... If you travel a certain amount of light years away from Earth right now, and then looked back at Earth, you would see dinosaurs. Like you, And that wouldn't even cover like 0.1% of how big the universe is. I'll never remember the actual fucking numbers or the actual thing, but it's, it's, if you go a certain distance that is not actually far in the universal scale, but it's far enough where if you look back at Earth, there would be dinosaurs there because you're seeing it so far in the past. Do you, by, do you by chance know about the signal that came from space in 1977 that we never really found out where it came from? Oh my god, not the fucking wow signal again. We're not going down this shit. <laughs> We're not doing this again. We've already covered the fucking wow signal. Not again. Next we're gonna get into warp drives or some goofiness. No more. <laughs> no more. We've, we've barked up that tree plenty. Thanks for the membership, Zezo. Ancient Antarctica. What about it? Have you heard of... Have you heard of Teotihuacan? It's an ancient city in Mexico that ancient aliens believe is an alien computer. Their proof is that it looks kind of like a circuit board. I'll be the judge of that. I, I know my way around circuit boards. Mm. Let's see. Ancient Aliens, City of Gods. I found the episode. This was from 2017. Jesus, this is like a newer episode. Let me just see an image of it. Like a still image. I'm guessing this one is the most circuit board-esque. Mm, let's 
pretty convincing. Absolutely not, Karma. <laughs> Definitely not. Maybe there's a reason why aliens don't visit? Like, what can they do with a bunch of old dinosaurs? Thanks for some spaghetti. There's just so many different ways you can toss around that thought experiment. I just think faster than light travel is probably just not cracked by any life right now, would be my guess. And even if it was, I don't think they would touch us. They, they just be no reason to. They wouldn't need anything from us. If they have faster than light travel, we can offer them nothing. Except memes. And OnlyFans, I guess, if they don't have that in their world. Yeah, that was the Drake leak earlier, Austin. It was his cock. Search the Tio Huquan alien computer. It shows a comparison with a real circuit board. <laughs> I didn't need more convincing. I already bought in, but sure. Thanks, a membership, Tyler. <laughs> Fuck. Those bastards. They hid their circuit board in plain sight. And they thought they'd get away with it. They thought they were slick. Don't, don't show this to your dad. I don't think my dad would believe in that one. Thanks, the resub killer. Though I wonder if I, like, dressed it up well enough. Like, dad, you know, I just... I mean, we may not see eye to eye on all the pyramids and stuff, but what do you think about Teodi Huacuan alien computers? And he'd probably hit me with question marks and be like, check this out. I saw this today and it turns out this entire place is a giant alien circuit board. And I bet he'd be like, I told you, I knew it. I maybe just need to put it in the right context. Because I feel like if I just came at him like, what do you think of this? He'd be like, yeah, it's kind of baloney. But if I let in, like, I'm starting to believe it, he'd probably be like, okay, this might be some good shit. Yeah, Mega Mind looks like dog ass. It's a real shame what they did to the sequel in the series. I know. I know. You gotta start making up your own conspiracies to convince them. Hire some artists to create some fake images for you. That's just diabolical. That is something I wanted to do on Facebook. Uh, I think it was about five years ago. And I was getting pretty serious about it. I was drumming up my own conspiracy and I was going to hire some artists to start putting together like a lot of material for it. And I was going to start spreading fake conspiracies on Facebook for fun. But I ended up not doing it. It was quite a big time, inv time investment. And no, I'm not zero. Like I said, I was going to speedrun it, but the root's just not there yet. It doesn't have a whole lot of tech. I know about the fire alarm collector. We went over him before, Cass. He's got a massive collection. True, Austin. Do you think every single UFO being captured on video is all baloney fake shit? Uh, some of the ones that the uh, that's been declassified are still kind of interesting to me, but I still just don't believe it's alien. <clears throat> There are many planets that look like they can support alien life. What do you think they'd look like? Again, insectoid. I said it yesterday. I think they'd look insectoid. 
Like, I don't think they'd be fuckable. I don't think they'd be hot. I, they, I think they'd just look like bugs. Yeah, I know that channel, Andrew. But I have not seen the UFO videos from them. Thoughts on Smite 2 and the skin drama. I don't... Oh, about the skins not transferring over? That is hogwash. Yeah, I understand why people will be mad about that. But Smite 2, I'm not a huge fan of them calling it Smite 2. Because again, it's going the Overwatch 2 route where it's just mainly a visual overhaul and some big balancing changes. Like, it's not really a sequel. But anything that might breathe some more life into Smite and bring it into the modern age, it's hyped to me. Thanks for some nerf. I just wish they didn't call it Smite 2. Tired of that marketing gimmick. You and your dad ever talked about the Emerald Tablets? What are the Emerald Tablets? Emerald Tablet, also known as the Smart... Smargadine Tablet? What? It's a compact, cryptid, hermetic text. It was highly regarded by Islamic and European alchemists as the foundation of their art. No, I've never even heard of the Emerald Tablets. This seems less alien and more spiritual. There's a membership, Alec. I don't think so, Alec. Yeah, someone just mentioned Elden Ring had some kind of mobile leak earlier today. I didn't see it. I don't know anything about it. I can look it up in a minute. But I did not see anything from it. My mom believes the earth is flat and constantly belittles me for believing it's round. No amount of proof, facts, science, or logic ever sways her back to round gang. Rough. Yeah, that's... It's There's nothing you can do there. It's not like she believes it because there's convincing evidence for it. She believes it just because she wants to and you can't really do anything about that. You could take her to space to look back at the earth and she still wouldn't believe it. It's just wanting to. Just something you gotta come to terms with. Will you ever make a video about Chipotle? fuck is Chipotle? I, I don't know what that is. Do you think alien life functions similarly to us? Like, did they evolve and create a society, social classes, economic systems, political systems? Do you think that's something uniquely human? I can't even envision what alien life would be like. I think they would be incomprehensible to us. I don't. I. I, I wouldn't even be able to <laughs> speculate on what alien life would be like. I have no idea. I would say probably nothing like us at all. Not a goddamn thing. Oh, Dark Force Theory, I know. That's the one that states uh, we're better off leaving them alone. The I, th I think that's the one that's like, you're in a dark forest, you have these two parties, neither of which knows what the other one's going to do, so it's the safest decision to just leave it be undisturbed. I plan on watching all of those, this. Those are all pretty... Well, I don't know what Exo Squad is, but the other three. They're very good. 
What's the worst boss battle in any video game you've played, in your opinion? Do you mean in terms of, like, bad design? Like, it's just, like, a... There's so many factors. Like, boring, shitty design, or what? Because right off the top of my head, I think every boss fight in the new Suicide Squad game is legitimately probably some of the worst designed bosses in AAA gaming. But I also wouldn't put them on, like, my top five list of, like, worst individual bosses or anything. I could definitely think of worse bosses from some really big stinkers, like, from Steam Dumpster Diving. There's just too many things that go into that. You're so lucky you never played Lords of the Fallen. I only... I think I only beat two bosses in that game. They were both bad. No, three. I did three. And they were all bad, but... Can't imagine them being worse than the Suicide Squad ones. They were so boring. And it was the same boss fight every time. Like, it can't be worse. Nice a membership arrow. You ever read Roadside Picnic? I have not. I don't think that's as likely read, no. Who's the worst boss in Lords of the Fallen, Dank? And I want to look it up now. The final boss. The final boss is the worst? Okay. I guess spoilers for anyone that plans on playing this pile of garbage. So this? Is this right? The true final boss is literally the first boss you fight with two more abilities. First boss is in like the scripted lost boss, or the first boss is in the uh, bloody girl that ends up going at two frames per second once you beat her. Angel girl. Oh. Adir the Bereft Exile. Why do you refuse to open your eyes to their manipulations? <laughs> to believe the shame to distortions of the truth. Thanks, For Arisa, Nash. Years, I stood as mankind's guardian, shepherding them with wisdom and love. Yet in return, I was betrayed. Those three power hungry love factors who declared themselves judges turned my You think silicon based life exists in the universe? I think some kind of life does. The universe is too big for there not to be. So this just looks like a really boring fight. Is that what makes it so bad, Denkin? It's a fucking church boss from Dark Souls 3. Well, that's what he was saying. It's basically Deacons of the Deep. It's just Deacons of the Deep and the boss just yaps 24-7. I guess that's fair. It definitely does seem like a really lame boss. Yeah, so that's pretty underwhelming. Alright. I don't know if that would have made my list for like worse bosses though. Just very tedious and boring. As a final boss, yeah, I can see it. Yeah. I mean, the game was bad, so it's only fitting that the final boss be bad, too. The final Halo boss where it's just a QTE? But that's not really a boss fight. That's just like a cinematic ending. It's not really a boss fight. You can't say that it's a bad designed boss when it's just not one.
Devil May Cry 2 bosses are some of the worst. I actually don't remember any of the Devil May Cry 2 ones. The fucking infected helicopter. And Devil May Cry 2? You gonna watch the Fallout TV show? Yeah, of course. What do you use to edit your videos? I'm one of the last users of Sony Vegas. Drake makes music for guys who slap their own cheeks during sex. That joke format's been around for actually a decade, and somehow I've never heard that one. That, that one gave me a, a little smile, a little smirk. And that's what I'm talking about, like... All of those jokes and shit have existed for so long. Drake's the kind of guy to throw a water bottle back in the ocean because he wants the water to be with its family. Like, all of that kind of shit has been around for, like, an actual decade. So it ruined my perception of him as, like, a man. So when his cock leaked today, I was stunned that it was so huge. I feel like that's why most people were probably shocked. Because you always hear that kind of shit about Drake, and then he's just packing a sledgehammer. And yeah, we watched the Yu-Gi-Oh! animation. Congrats, Don. I did eventually, but it was far from my first try on Radon. How do we know the leak isn't AI? I guess we don't, really. I don't know what confirmation there is that it's all real. But I'm guessing it must be at this point. Considering all that's been said about it. And written about it. You ever played Will Rock, to 2003 game by Ubisoft? Nope. If it's fake, Drake won't say it is. Well, of course not. He's, I wouldn't. Of course he's not going to be like, no, that's, that's actually fake. My cock's not that big. No one's going to say that. His membership Quinn. Yep, I'll be playing Dragon's Dogma 2 when it comes out. You seen the Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 speedrun yet? Yeah, I was going to speedrun last night, and that was one of the games I was going to do. It was either going to be that or Don't Pee, and Don't Pee just doesn't have enough tech yet for me. But Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 speedrun is literally just one glitch and six minutes of waiting. So it's just not really a fun-looking speedrun. Yeah, I'll show you the record. <clears throat> it's down to 11 minutes, though, which is cool. But he's just playing the game normally. Hello. Then you get on this for, like, four minutes. Well, two minutes. I'm exaggerating, I guess. Then you grab this, and you just prop surf all the way to the top. And it takes you to the final boss. And you just do the final boss normally. So it's just not really a fun speed run. Now if there were some glitches to skip the tram, that'd be cool. Or glitches to get to the tram a little faster, that'd make it worth it.
Is it Prime Emerson? But right now it's not. Then do The Hobbit. I still love The Hobbit speedrun. Probably still to date my favorite speedrun game. Thanks for membership, Arone. I gotta take a shit real quick though. Give me two seconds. I'll be right back.
Have you seen the game Juice Galaxy on Steam? Is that one of those soda drinking style games? I haven't seen that one, but it sounds like one of those soda drinkers where you sip cola and go on an adventure. It was definitely up there, Paul. That was a very hard boss. You gonna play Sparking Zero? Yeah, of course I am. Have fun, John. Did you get a bidet already? Not yet, I need to. I really need to. I want to try it. Once you go bidets, you'll feel so clean. That's what I hear, and I know that's how I'll feel, too. I just need to finally pull the trigger on it. Thanks, Josh. I started the bear but didn't finish it. Any recent metal albums you have on constant repeat? It's been Invent Animate and Silent Planet's latest releases for me. No, nothing for me at the moment. Nothing new. How could you not finish the bear? Well, it's not that I couldn't finish it, it's... I just didn't. It was good. What I watched from it was good. I just did not finish it. I probably will at some point. Thanks the resub, legend. Get a tushy bidet attachment. I think that's the thing I tried to install on stream a couple of years ago, and it did not go well. And I saw that on Twitter, Jackson, when I was shitting. Thanks for that, Logan. Hope you're doing well. The new Mister and Mister. The new Mister and Mrs. Smith is good so far. Happy to hear that. I don't plan on watching it, but I'm glad you're enjoying it, bub. Do you see Great A Under A's return? Oh, is he back? No, I did not see that. Thanks, Cameron. And thanks for the Prime Russia. The speedrun you watched, by the way, is fake. The actual speedrun has a ton of glitches in it. This is a fake video? How is this fake? Hold on, let me see what the real one is then. Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 is not even on speedrun.com yet. Thanks a Prime Coherent and Term. I'm super sorry to hear that, Zero. Can you tweet it at me? 
Let me know what's going on. Just go to go to just AJZ's channel for the real speed run. Okay. So was the other one? What was the other one then? How was it fake? It was fun. I just kept getting so lost or confused. It's always the fucking. The scene. channel's just a content farm. But does that mean that the run was fake? Like I don't see how it could have been faked. This one doesn't use the skip at the start. This is the most recent one, this is the world record. It's using an early prop uh, early prop ride here, so that's good. That already makes it better than the other one. So does that skip the, the tram ride? I bet it does. I'm sorry to hear that, Ken. Yeah, you can send it and maybe I'll at least take a look for sure. It did not skip the tram. Maybe this does. Yes, I love you, Chair. <laughs> Jesus. Tram, don't fuck me up. No, we don't, don't do that anymore, Gostor. We're going to plow town population tram. There is a poop. Holy shit. Do you fall faster in 15 or 60? That's sad. So I'm imagining this takes you right to the final boss fight too, just like the other video? Then how would it not be? No, it doesn't. Bro. Okay, so it uses the same glitch as the other one, though, taking it here. I don't know what was fake about the other one. I think it's a prime. Please, Patroclus. Dad, Why does this end up taking 12-27? He's at the final boss fight in four minutes. I think it may, might just be the way they time it. Maybe that's what's fake about the other one. Everyone. Guilty. Prototype has to die. For this. There is a way For to everything. Yeah, it's huge, Sayuki. Okay, that was definitely better than the other one. Alright, I'll keep it on the back burner as a maybe. There was definitely more glitches in that, so that makes it more interesting. Thanks to the reset bird. Was the other one spliced? I don't know, I guess it must be, because it didn't have the first glitches, like the skips. Is a resub TDC. Mm. 
I've been scrolling through Netflix for three hours and can't seem to find a movie to watch. Mind helping me out? Preferably, so preferably something that'll make me forget the horrors of life. Jesus, that's deep. Uh, uh, does it need to be Netflix? I'm drawing a blank. Watch Castlevania, I guess. That's fun. That's a five good subs, TDC. No, we already went over all the Mega Mind stuff, man. It looks bad. We all know it looks bad. It's going to most likely be bad. Which is a shame. You heard of Blue Lock? Of course I have. I've seen a bit of Blue Lock. It's good. I'm not really a sports anime kind of guy, though. Do you think the Batman 2 could be as good as the first one? Yeah, I think so. I don't see why it couldn't. hear about Taylor Swift suing the college student who tracked her plane? I did. Yeah, the college student tracking her private jet is being threatened with a lawsuit if he does if it doesn't shut down. watch Halo season two of course I will man it doesn't look as bad as season one from everything they've shown but I still think it's going to be bad like I don't imagine this will somehow end up being anything more than just mediocre at best but we'll see it comes out in what two days I think I think it comes out on the eighth so it's right around the corner yeah Eighth. Tomorrow. The Swifties are something else. I saw one on TikTok that was documenting all her daily poop statistics. How would that even be possible? She wouldn't have access to that API. I did not see that Monday. Do you think people are exaggerating the complaints about the Avatar live action? Fuck no, man. I have all the same complaints. I made a whole video complaining about it based on those complaints. It is outrageous to take the source material and change some of the most important fundamental aspects of the thing you are adapting. It's ridiculous. It's a terrible decision. I'm hoping it'll still be decent in spite of that, but it is very concerning. No, it's not. The Last of Us adaptation changed many things. They changed nothing about the characters. The characters were not only the exact same characters from the game counterpart, they were expanded and more fleshed out. Avatar is taking away Sokka's very first major character arc with overcoming his perception of women not being strong. By taking that out, they completely changed not only his early demeanor and early character flaws, but his first major character arc. That's a huge thing.
I think they have something up their sleeves. I'm a dare to hope. You're welcome to. I just don't, I don't know why you're giving them that benefit of the doubt. Netflix adaptations have long since proven themselves as unreliable, and Hollywood in general, but you're welcome to. I would like to be pleasantly surprised. The visuals look cool, but I have no hope. And the original creators of Avatar left, which was a concerning sign years ago now. I just don't think there's any hope of it being good. Need to try out the original Square Enix mega hit Foam Stars? Fuck no. <laughs> no, I'm not playing Foam Stars. It doesn't look terrible, but I'm not playing it. Watch the short compilation of all the animation errors in the Mega Mind 2 trailer. I don't even need to, man. That shit looks like Food Fight from 2008. It looks horrible. I'm not even an animation expert and I can pick out all of the flaws. It looks awful. That trailer looked worse than Lego Ninjago. True. Oh yeah, that's an old tactic, Caleb. I remember when that first came out with ChatGPT. You gonna play Helldivers? I plan on it. I did not see the delay for it, Josh, but that sounds about right. Sure you discussed it already, but any thoughts on Mizkiff beating up Mitch Jones? Like I said when someone else brought it up at the beginning of the stream, I only saw the ring footage that was obviously edited by Mitch and, like, the clips that he put out talking about it. But even in the footage that he edited, he looks like the instigator and the bad guy in it. So I don't know what the fuck the plan was with that. But I haven't looked deeper into the situation past that. I saw it right before going live. You see the million dollar Whopper competition. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for reminding me. Burger King's doing a million dollar Whopper competition. It's probably the last million dollars Burger King has to its name because that shit sucks. I didn't look into what it actually is though. Do you design your own Whopper or something and win a million dollars? Let's see. What is What is going on here? What, the ads on this one are crazy. Wow, that, what an experience, what an experience. Rise, Br Rise Brands Close Weenie Wonder Promises, what is this, this isn't, wait, what? Where's the burger, what, what is happening? That wasn't what I clicked, what is going on? Oh, here we go. Just had to go through the full page autoplaying ad video. Thanks, Columbus Dispatch. Contest being sponsored by Burger King will allow creative customers to truly have it your way. In the million dollar Whopper contest, entrants are asked to build their dream burger for the chance to win a cool million dollars and have their winning entry sold in Burger King stores across the country for a limited time. Con contestants have until March 17th to submit their ideal Whopper online using their free Royal Perks account. Burger buffs can choose between a 100% beef patty or an impossible plant-based patty and add up to eight toppings. To enter, go to bk.com slash mdw or use the Burger King app. 
What the fuck is this? This is like Papa's Burgeria. There's no freedom here at all. You just have a choice of two patties and eight toppings. What a gimmick. Let me get creative. There's, this is... <laughs> what a load of hogwash. That's <laughs> this super big waste of time. Is it resub Pika? You can get a cool mill though. I mean, yeah, I guess you're just kind of entering into the million dollar raffle more so than anything. But it'd be nice to actually be able to make like some kind of cool Whopper pitch deck. Like imagine coming up with a Whopper mood board, 3D modeling your ideal Whopper and Blender and submitting it as well as like a full presentation one pager or something. Like that'd be hype. That would actually be a W move from Burger King as opposed to this basically glorified flash game of putting a beef patty with pickles and mayonnaise or whatever from a pre-established list of toppings there's only like how many combinations is this 16 combinations total uh, no wow scrub that from the record there's not many combinations in total though Use the prime quas. They limited the ingredients to avoid the McDonald's burger contest fail back during the 2015 era, the internet historian bid. I actually totally forgot about that. I completely forgot McDonald's did something similar back in the day. Fuck them anyway. Let it let it let it ride. It's 80,640 combinations. What? There's no way. Is he Chainsaw Man getting a movie? Yeah, I saw that. Is he resub defo? What's your perfect burger? I don't really have a perfect burger. It all just depends on my mood. It says you can add up to eight toppings. It doesn't say that there are eight toppings. I guess, you know, let me see. There's the criteria here. Because the way I read that is that you have eight options total. So you have up to eight options you can pick from. But let me see. I'm not making an account. Owning a Burger King account, is there any greater shame? So, you're here to make a Whopper. Well... I'm your trusty AI companion, Grillium, and I'll be at your side as you craft your flame-grilled creation. A creation that could be worth one million dollars. Let's get flame-grilling. We have a few house rules Why? for you to follow that'll make your Whopper competition ready. They put an AI assistant into the Burger King create... If that isn't the most concerning thing <laughs> for people that are still downplaying how big AI is going to be... I don't know what's going to put it on your radar. Fucking Burger King for a burger building competition flash game is using an AI assistant. This shit is going to be everywhere. Not Burger King. That'll probably be closed in five years. AI. In every sector. Every sector. Mark my goddamn words. It's gonna sweep through. 
Grilliam's already here, and it's still early in the game. It's simple. Your Whopper can't contain ingredients with allergens. It must be made with edible stuff. And if you need more info, check the ingredients fact. The rest is up to you. It all starts with the patty. So what's the big idea? How are you going to top it? Well, Grilliam, I'll go with the 100% flame-grilled beef patty. Good. Now what makes your Whopper worth a million bucks? I'd like to use a brioche bun. Is that an option? Type in your topping and hit return. Well, I want to start with the bread. I'd like to use a brioche bun. Where do I type that? Can I just put it here as a topping? Or do I have to use standard Burger King wet, soggy trash? Into the prime Amir. Just show Burger King the blended Whopper you made for an easy two mil. <laughs> True. Unironically, blending the Whopper made it taste so much better than actually just eating it. Soon, Cameron. We got another music video coming out soon. So there's just no way to change the bun. What a great start. Okay, for my first topping, we're going to go with smoked Gouda. I, okay, I can't. <laughs> I only was able to put smoked there. Alright, massive text size. We'll go with... I want like a high quality cheese. Was like a... It needs to be a shorter one. Because apparently smoked Gouda is too long. Add marshmallows. You've already lost that competition. Some Gruyere. Gruyere's not bad. We'll go with Gruyere. I think that'll probably be fine, right? Everyone likes Gruyere. Checking your topping. We don't do that here, sir. This is Burger King. We don't know what that word means. Fucking Grilliam's gonna explode here. Okay, okay. What else? I got the Grilliam stamp of approval? Well, interesting. Can I put sauce under the beef patty? Or do I have to go in this order from beef patty up? Because I'd like to sneak some sauce under the beef patty. Give it a nice little bed and maybe some pickles there. In case Bubble Bass comes in and tries to hide it. But I don't have that kind of freedom. I'm literally just adding fucking random toppings onto this. It is actually just Papa's Burgeria. <laughs> Do caviar. <laughs> That's actually such a fire idea. Okay, we're just going to put some pickles. Ooh, now we're talking. They like that. Do some Pepto-Bismol. Brother, I'm trying to win a million bucks here. I'm not going to put Pepto. But I will put some spinach here because we need some greens and I think this will be tastier. Happy with your toppings? Generate your Whopper when you're ready. No, oh, I'm not happy with my fucking toppings. It's spinach, pickles, gruyere, and beef. There's nothing else here, Grilliam. Open your eyes. I think maybe we finish it off standard. Maybe like, um... Uh... What does... Smoke... Smoke shows... Smoky bones, not smoke shows. Smoky bones. What are their onion rings called? It's the onion... Onion strings. That's what they're called. I think onion strings will go really hard here. Oh, sure. That makes sense. There's no way you looked up onion strings that quickly. There's no fucking shot. Are you lying to me, Grilliam? Are they, is he just programmed to just gaslight me? Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, we're going to print this. No, no, we got onion strings. <laughs> You're really thinking with 100% of your brain. <laughs> you top that all right. This is... This is Fucking baloney! You're not even checking my toppings! You're letting me put Pepto-Bismol on here? This is all a sham! Mm. 
No, I replaced the lettuce with spinach here. It'll be a little healthier too, and I think it'll just taste better. It loses a bit of the crunch, but the onion strings were there to make up for that loss in texture. But now, just there's no point in even continuing this. They're not even fucking checking! Change of heart. That's just already a topping at Burger King. <laughs> True. Honestly, they need to have Pepto-Bismol on the menu, because if you're ordering from Burger King, you're going to need it. Alright, uh, I think maybe we just finish this off classic. I think we just go... <sighs> do we start adding the sauces now, or should I add one more thing? How classic do I want to go? Try some lean. Well, if Pepto works, anything's going to work. I could put gasoline on here and it'll probably work. I don't recognize that as a topping. You... You recognize Pepto, but not gasoline? What is this program? Wow. <laughs> Burger King definitely does know its menu if, if it recognizes Pepto. Okay. We're going to add bacon and then we're just going to put the sauce. We're just going to okay, finish it okay. all American here because we only have two slots left. So we're going to do just standard ketchup and then... That could be a million dollar combination. I want like an actual good sauce to complement it on top. But I think ketchup is a necessity when you've got these other ingredients in here. What's well, a good sauce that kind of binds it all together? It needs to be a thicker sauce. An aioli? An aioli's not a bad idea. I'm not fucking putting pink sauce. I'm not ruining my chances here. Chick-fil-A sauce. <laughs> yeah, just start putting down a better restaurant. To be honest, I actually don't hate the honey mustard idea. I really don't. I actually think that m that won't be bad. Should this actually ever get made, like if someone actually made this burger, I don't think the honey mustard would clash too hard. I'm gonna I'm gonna run it. I'm gonna do honey mustard. Oh. What are you cooking? Well, hopefully something worth a million dollars, Grillium. Create my Whopper. You wouldn't let me change the bread. You also wouldn't let me change the order of these things. I wanted to put some of it underneath the beef patty because I think it would be a really nice enhancement, but whatever. Like, I'd like to put the spinach and the pickles and at least the ketchup under the beef patty. But we can't get that creative here. <clears throat> Sir, you're way too qualified. This is the best goddamn burger we've ever seen. Get out. This is Burger King. Ah, here it is. Isn't it glorious? You think that's what I made, Grillium? What is this? Is this algae in here? I see my spinach, and then you gave me... beets? And... Styrofoam? What have, what have you made me here? Th this needs a little fine-tuning. AI image. It, I mean, it is an AI image. It, we have an AI assistant helping us through this, and this is absolutely an AI-generated image based on my uh, toppings. Look at the list. Oh yeah, let me see if it even got the list right. Gruyere, pickles, spinach, onion strings, bacon, ketchup, and honey mustard. I see two of those items on there. Oh, three of those items on there. Everything else is just wrong. <laughs> this is the burger that killed the health inspector. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this... To be fair, this isn't nasty patty level. If they did serve this, minus whatever this is supposed to be. I, I don't even know what this, like, white bubbly bean shit is. And I, I think they slid in tomatoes here for some reason. If they take that section out, it probably would still be the best burger on their menu. That's a white onion? I don't think so. Is it? I can't... Tell. Maybe you're right.
Well, I don't think this is winning the competition. My ingredients were kind of fire, but they really let me down on the AI generation there. But here, let me go ahead and give Burger King my social security so I can properly submit this and win my million dollars. I'm actually going to make an account and see if I win. <laughs> give me a second. I'll be the first man in America with a Burger King account. I want to receive special offers and other information from Burger King via email. Absolutely not. All right, I'm submitted. No Whopper is complete without a world-class ad. Let's crown your Whopper creation. You can claim your free Whopper with a $1 purchase in the Offers tab of your BK app. Terms apply. I'm not downloading the app. I Oh, I even come up with my own advertising camp. This reminds me of old internet days, back in GeoCities. Where there's just like a few templates that you choose from. Uh, we'll just do the All-American Whopper. That looks cool. We'll play into the patriot patriotism angle of it. Add your name to your Whopper ad. Chef Charles. No? What? Just Charles? Okay. Wait here, we'll let you know when your AI Whopper ad is ready. Framing the shot. I'm sure this will blow me away. True, Edgy. I am no Burger King fan. <laughs> what an awful record. <laughs> A contestant on a popular singing competition from Chicago used to sing to guests in the drive-thru speaker while working at the Burger King drive-thru. That's wholesome. Two famous football brothers both claim Burger King was their favorite fast food burger on their podcast in 2023. Sound like liars. Whopper patties are made with 100% beef and flame grilled at, an, at over 600 degrees. Still tastes bad. One day in 2022, a guest ordered more than 700 Whopper sandwiches in a single transaction. Will you be the one to break that record in 2024? Well, who would do that? What kind of sick madman? He donated it to the homeless. I love where his heart was, but why not choose like a little bit better of an establishment for it? Give them a better quality burger. It's not like Burger King is that much cheaper than other options. In fact, it's not... I don't even think it's cheaper than, like, McDonald's. Maybe it is, though. Alright. Here's my ad. Your order is ready. Your flame-grilled goodness is ready to watch. This is Charles's All-American Whopper. With honey mustard and other toppings. <laughs> with some gruyer and pickles in there. Try and top that if you dare. BK. Hey. Have it your way. You rule. Fuck yeah. Wait a minute. That was a slapper. Honey mustard and some other shit, I guess. Can you beat it? Do you dare? That was great. That was cool. Post that shit. Yeah, I'll put it on my Twitter. <laughs> People actually think I got sponsored by Burger King. Whoever's not in the stream right now will be like, what the fuck? This is the biggest betrayal I've ever seen. There's the resub bees. Ah, oh, super sweet. Well, thanks for that, Mauler. 
Try one with wackier ingredients. I want to win. I'm trying to win. Plus, <laughs> I don't know how... I mean, you can probably get pretty wacky. They let Pepto go. Imagine I actually win a, a million dollars from this. I would never stop laughing in the face of Burger King corporate for the rest of my life. If I win this million dollar raffle, they would never hear the end of it. Oh, of course I remember Jet Set Radio. Someone said they let them use Metamucil as an ingredient. I think it might just like pharmaceuticals. Thanks, Resub, Zach. I'm not fucking posting this <laughs> all-American Whopper ad. It's not happening. I'm curious what the Pepto burger would look like. I don't think it actually takes your prompt. Here, you know what? We'll do it just to experiment with that. But I really don't think it takes your prompt. I think I need to... Uh, can I just do it again? From start. So, you're here to yeah. make a Whopper. Okay. Well, I'm your trusty AI companion, Grillium. And I'll be at your side. I already know, Grillium. I know. Creation. I know. A creation that could be worth one million dollars. Let's get flame grilling. It all starts with a patty. So what's the big idea? How are you gonna top it? Good. Uh, I'm gonna try. Now, how are you going to top oh. your Whopper? I hope you thought this through. I'm not sure about that one. Appreciate the concern, Pizza King. We need Pepto at the top. Well, I just want to... See, okay, we'll put Pepto at the very top. Well, no, it didn't get my honey mustard when I put it at the top. I just want to see if... It, I want things that are very clear. Like a... a shoe. Uh-uh. I well, don't think so. Of course, that wasn't going to slide. Shrimp? I don't recognize that ingredient. You, you don't recognize shrimp? Just make the entire burger cheese. You can just keep playing. Yeah, I guess I can try that. I'm gonna try this one first. Not sure about that. Just kidding. I'm all about that. No, you're not, Grillium. Stop lying to me. I want very visible things. I don't recognize that ingredient. They said no seafood. Oh, right. You're right. They did. They did warn me. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. Cheetos. Happy with your toppings? Okay. Generate your Whopper when you're ready. Uh-uh, I don't think so. Marmite? Turkey? Turkey, I guess, would probably work. I just need something very visible. Like, I feel like turkey's gonna be fine. That's nothing too interesting. I just want to see if it actually even bothers taking what you put in here, because mine was a little off. Thanks to tier one ceiling. Flowers. I hope you thought this through. Chocolate. Sounds good, but will it taste good? Mushroom. You should have made a knuckle sandwich. <laughs> okay, that's such a good idea. I wonder. Fist. Uh uh. Imagine. I don't think so. Finger. I don't recognize that ingredient. It's Burger King. You definitely recognize that ingredient. Oh no, it was Wendy's. It also wasn't actually Wendy's. Someone had like cut their own finger off or something and dropped it in there. I already forgot. Yeah, I don't know if I can do a knuckle sandwich. 
Habaneros. No, 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 no. I'm sure that'll work. That'll probably be fine. I don't recognize that ingredient. What about leather? I don't recognize that as a topping. Plastic? I'm not sure about that one. Uh, those are a little too out there. Bread. Sounds good, but Bread. will it taste good? Ooh, now we're talking. Bread. Mm, that's a full stack. It's <laughs> a full stack. You are correct, Grillium. That is just a big stack. We'll see if that works. I'm just curious if this works. This is experimenting. Let's see what it AI generates, because I, I am convinced it doesn't actually use what you put in there for the prompt. And this will prove it. Pineapples and marshmallow trust. Too late now. I fucking full stack this bitch. Now this bread stack gonna go crazy. Ah, here it is. Isn't it glorious? That is not at all what I fucking typed in. It's a beef patty with poop and flowers. Where's my six pieces of bread? Where's where's anything I put in there? Where's my Pepto-Bismol? They actually just got some fudge paste and put it on the beef. But I told you, they don't actually use it. Dog, a dog shit sandwich. I mean, if they served this, again, it would probably be beating most of the burgers on their menu, to be fair. But even still, it, I, this was just to prove a point, point proven. It does not really grab, grab your prompt for the image. But I am very curious what it typed in for this. Because it's like a pseudo birthday cake in a bun. Just do only bread. Right, I'll try. This will be the last experiment, though. The point's been proven now. So, you're here to make a Whopper. Well, I'm your trusty AI companion, Grillium. And I'll be at your side as you craft your flame-grilled creation. A creation that could be worth one million dollars. Let's get flame-grilling. It all starts with a patty. So what's the big idea? How are you gonna top it? Good. Now what makes your Whopper worth a million bucks? What are you cooking? <laughs> you top that all right. Try different names of bread. Oh, that's not a bad idea. I should have done that. Happy with your toppings? Okay, then let's Go just ahead try this. and submit your Whopper. Maybe I just need to be, cooking? like, more adamant about it. I hope you thought this through. Sounds good, but will it taste good? So this should be nothing but, like, a very tiny beef patty and a ton of bread and pink sauce all over it. But I have a feeling it won't generate that. Because I don't think they're really using it. Why are you checking this so long through the database? You already cleared it three times. I don't recognize that as a topping. Okay. Okay, tough guy. Uh, one more thing to take it home then. Something else really noticeable. Watermelon. Ooh, let him cook! I still have space for one more? I thought that was eight. Okay, I got one more. Just do a bagel. Okay. Mmm, that's a full stack. Full stack indeed, brother. Let's see what you spit out. Is that the board burger? I'm about to find out. This is probably going to be the opposite of the board burger if it does it correctly. Look at what you've made. 
This isn't what I fucking made! Again, where is my nine pieces of bread? At least they have some... Actually, this looks like what McDonald's used to use, like that sludge. You remember that pink sludge that went viral a while back? Like, this is what your burger looks like? It actually looks exactly like that. Nothing like Pepto. No bread. For some reason, they gave me a whole layer of eggs or asbestos that they scraped off their ceilings and then some cucumbers, which I think is supposed to be the, the watermelon portion. Actually, it, might, it still might be the watermelon. I can't quite tell. It's like trunk. There is bread at the top below, at the top below the bun. This? Is this my four pieces of bread? It's the bagel. Oh, yeah, wait, no, it definitely is the bagel. You're right, yeah. That's the bagel. They just didn't, they're not getting my order right. Do the video so we can check if the voice reads out the Pepto. I don't want to make another goddamn ad. I'll have to make a new account. I'm not just going to keep sacrificing emails to Burger King to make them seem like they have more customers than they do. You do it. You, you put Pepto on your Dream Whopper. I won't keep just giving them my emails. <laughs> and I don't feel like even going through the effort of a 10-minute mail for Burger King app. But what if you win? I might. I, I put one real burger in there. I actually might win. This wouldn't. This would get them literally sued to oblivion. But I could win with my first burger. I really think so. You get up to three on one email. Alright, I'll see if you're right. It's no Whopper is right. complete without a world-class ad. Let's put your Whopper on a pedestal. Where it deserves to be, no doubt. Okay, let's see if it reads it out. You gonna make your burger an NFT? <laughs> God, don't even mention NFT when talking about Burger King. I think they're one more flop away from going full-blown NFT. Yeah, we already talked about all the Mega Mind stuff a couple days ago. They put a scrub daddy under the watermelon. <laughs> oh yeah, my layer of eggs. Which I didn't put on there. If you won, would you try it? If I won, it wouldn't be because of my Pepto-Bismol bread burger. But even if I did win with the Pepto-Bismol bread burger, yeah, I'd eat it. Pepto doesn't taste terrible. I'd try it. For a million dollars? Oh my god, yeah. Thanks if you said Pop-Tart. Burger King already tried NFTs for a week. They even had Nelly promote it. Oh, interesting. I can't believe it didn't work. All right, let's check my ad. See your magic between the buns. Mm-hmm. Oh! This is Charles's epic waffle. With watermelon and other toppers. With some bread and bread in there. 
Try and top that if you did. BK, have it your way. You can't top this, I'll spoil it now. Have it your way indeed. Here's Charles's epic whopper with some bread. <laughs> and some bread in there. I also see now the where the confusion was. It didn't use Pep the Bismol, it used Pink Bismuth. What the fuck is Pink Bismuth? That sounds like a city in Australia. It, it's just fucking Pepto again, but a <laughs> different brand. Pink Bismuth is actually just Pepto again. Cool. I like how it recognized it properly and still okayed the ingredient for my topping. Cool. What a what a whopper. What a what a sandwich, huh? What a butte. What a absolute beauty. Share this one. Brother, I'm not sharing a single fucking thing from Burger King. It's not happening. What a cool ad, though. Like, actually, like actually just such a banger. You're gonna win, you know. I would love to. If, like I said, if I win the million dollars from this competition for my my first burger, they would never hear the end of it. I would be tweeting at Burger King every day with pictures of what I'm wasting the money on. I'm gonna give some Alex. Well, I, I probably wouldn't be wasting it. I'd probably just <laughs> I'd, I'd set it aside and use it for like I don't know all kinds of different content probably. I don't know, but I'd, I'd keep them updated on everything. I'd be tweeting at them constantly. Is that the old YouTube one, Starlight? Because I recognize the name, Man in the Suit. That's from the CCTV footage, right? Play it again, please. Alright, I'll let it rip again. But I'm not posting it anywhere. This is Charles' epic waffle. With watermelon and other toppers. With some bread and bread in there. Try and top that if you dare. BK. Have it your way. You Just makes you proud to be an American, really. It looks like egg in the middle. Yeah, I don't know where that came from. It actually just came out of nowhere. There is nothing even egg adjacent. It's watermelon, four batches of Pepto Bismol, and four pieces or three pieces of bread. And then for some reason they slid the scrub daddy in the middle. Now it can be added to the breakfast menu. True, that is one benefit to it. Thanks to the resub quaddy. He dared you to try bread. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's pretty pretty cool. Grilliam's on my side, though. He liked it. He was cheering me on. Is it public voting for these burgers? No, fundamentally, it's just a raffle from the sound of it. This is just a gimmick. So you make your own little burger, and then you enter into the raffle. You could win a million dollars, and if you do, your Whopper gets made for a day or some shit. I already forgot. <clears throat> If it was voting based, that'd be a disaster. Thanks to tier one, Kira.
Read the contest rules. I think it is votes. No shot. It's votes. Maybe like an internal Burger King council. Whatever fossils are on that board, but it wouldn't be public votes. Let me read their rules. Burger King has appointed contest judges to select three Whopper sandwich creations later this year after the submission period is over. Oh, so it's not even a raffle. They actually do have a, a board. I think I have a re I don't, I'm going to be honest, I don't think the Pepto-Bismol burger is winning. But I do think the first one has a chance. I think that would be a really tasty burger. But it's way too expensive for Burger King to make. It would bankrupt them in a day. Just getting the Gruyere would ruin them. Hey, well, that was sweet. Well, thank you for that, Aiden. That would be a wild moist meter, Sean. True. Bribe them. Well, they're definitely going to be kept anonymous. I bet these Burger King judges are kept in like a sensory deprivation tank for the next month and two weeks. So that way they're cut off from the rest of the world so they can't be influenced when they look at the Whopper creations. They can't be contaminated and, or bribed. But if I knew who they were, I'd reach out. I mean, you probably aren't in, very into the Rocket League stuff with your team, but whoever whoever you had make your decals made the best decals we've ever had. Brother, I watch party all of our team's games. We all do. I didn't last weekend because I was out, unfortunately, but this weekend we are again. We're very, very invested in everything in Rocket League. Those decals? Slap. I'm glad the community's liking them so much. Our new Moist Esports Rocket League decals are in the store right now. We were going to play together tonight with them, but Matt and Danny weren't home, and I didn't feel like solo grinding because I'm kind of trash. But I'm really glad the community's enjoying them. Thanks for the 10 gifted members, Cryo. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Keep reading. Oh. Three finalists will be invited to Burger King headquarters in Miami where they will get the chance to modify their sandwich ideas before they appear on menus nationwide according to Burger King. Customers will get a chance to try the three Whopper sandwiches and cast a vote for their favorite sandwich. <gasps> the Whopper that receives the most votes will take, take it all, including a brief menu appearance and a $1 million for the creator. We just need to make it into the top three. We just need to make it. There's hope. There's hope. I just don't think the judges would let me. There's no way. Mine's too expensive of an item. Onion strings, Gruyere. Burger King doesn't know where, where to even source that. There's no way. But what if there is? What if... Okay, so the Burger King headquarters in, is in Miami. What if I, I ship them a mysterious package full of Gruyere and onion strings? So that way they wouldn't need to worry about the cost. There's a chance. $35 burger. <laughs> what a steal. Instead of a Bitcoin farm, make an AI model to create all the best possible creations. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you for another 10 gifted members, Cryo. I appreciate that. Oh, let me look one more thing up real quick. Hold on. I'm going to look it up up here. It'll be faster. So I have one more chance Do we run it with like a cheaper alternative? I think that might be the play I 
I think if we go, I think I think that's what we do. I think we go for like a cheaper alternative that Burger King might actually select, and we run it one more time. One more time for the home team. Hold on, let me let me send a quick message real quick. Let's try it. One more Hail Mary. So we, we threw away one of our chances for the bread bread Pepto burger, but that's okay. We've got one more. One more go around the block. Hey, thanks for that, Adam. So, you're here to make a Whopper. Well, I'm your trusty AI companion. It's Grilliam. always good to see you, Grilliam. your side as you craft your flame grilled creation. A creation. That could be worth one million dollars. Okay. Let's get flame grilling. All right, chat. What it do you all think? starts with the patty. So what's the big idea? How are right, you so gonna? Can you stop yapping, Grilliam? I'm strategizing. Now what makes your Whopper worth a million bucks? Okay. I, I I'm gonna tell you right now. I don't think we use all eight toppings. I think eight toppings is asking a lot from Burger King. It's going to be an expensive burger. I think we want to keep this to like maybe five or six tops. Yeah, I think mozzarella is safe. I think we go for some mozzarella. That's going to be my, I think that'd be my cheat my cheese choice as well. <laughs> you top that all right. I don't think we mix chicken and beef. That's a fucking recipe for disaster. You belong in an insane asylum. We're not going to we're not going to mix meats. You don't do that here. Not at Burger King. Pickles are a must. I think pickles are a must for sure. But are, could pickles be alienating? There are a lot of people that don't like pickles on their burger. I want mass appeal. I think bacon is safe. Everyone really likes bacon on their burgers, especially if we're using mozzarella. I think bacon's a really good choice. So we're going to throw bacon on for sure. What are you cooking? There's a prime Logan. Tomatoes? No. I like tomatoes on my burger, but literally none of my friends do. So, we're not doing tomatoes. I already know that's way too polarizing. Barbecue sauce, again, I think that's going to be too polarizing. But ketchup might be too boring. So maybe barbecue sauce isn't a bad idea for some zest. Thanks, Resub Josh. If the bread and Pepto burger wins, I'm going to order six. Mark my words. Brother, it's not winning. The council's going to die before that happens. I still really like our onion strings idea, but now that we've got the bacon, mozzarella, beef, onion strings might be pushing it for cost, I think. Is it tier one dancey? So I'm, I'm debating. Because I still really... Every burger I've ever had that had onion rings or onion strings on it has always just gone crazy. That shit's gone insano style. Caramelized onion. Again, too polarizing. None of my friends like onions. We need mass appeal. This has to this has to stand out and be a, widely adapt, a, adopted. Thanks for some Hanma. Ranch bacon barbecue fire combo. Ranch ranch bacon barbecue is a timeless classic actually. That guy's that guy's cooking. And I'm liking what he's got on the grill. That's not bad. That is not bad. The Aeol Stop saying aioli. This is fucking Burger King. They probably can't even spell aioli at the Burger King headquarters. We're not doing aioli. It needs to be simple enough. I really like the ranch bacon barbecue idea. If we do ranch bacon barbecue, we can't do hash brown, but the hash brown's also kind of wacky because unironically the Burger King hash browns aren't terrible from what I remember. Which is rare to find something there that's not terrible. So that's my front runner at the moment.
I'm just gonna put this here for now, so I can get it out of my head. Happy with your toppings? Make your whopper when you're ready. Okay, okay, okay. What else? We can change that, but right now, I do like the way that looks. I think it would need one more component if we were to run with this. Thanks, Risa Mormon. Thanks, Risa Doll. You guys would absolutely be ruined in an R&D department. Why in the fuck... One guy keeps spamming, like, his most, like, mom's homemade mushroom recipe. Brother, I'm not putting a fucking, like, gourmet mushroom topping on this for a Burger King burger. It needs to be mass appeal. Thanks to the five gift subs, metalhead. Lettuce, you need greens. That's kind of... I know a lot of people like greens on their burger. I just think that this is going to be so much better without... I honestly think there's merit to doing another different type of cheese. But that might be too much because we're already going with the barbecue bacon ranch combo. And I think if you do two cheeses, it's overwhelming. So I'm going to try and stay away from that. I really still like the onion strings idea, though. But again, onions are too polarizing. But it would just go so well with this, I think. Do I go with my heart or do I go with math? Because my heart's telling me onion strings because I would absolutely crush this if if this existed. I think that would be a really good combo. But I just feel like most people might be turned off by it. And this is for a potential million, million clams. So I want to actually try and win. That sounds about right, Paul. Oh, that's what they were called. It was never onion strings, you're right. It was called onion tanglers. That's what they were at Smoky Bones, huh? Yeah, that shit was always so good. Is so good. It's not like dead or anything. Yeah, leaving as is also isn't a terrible decision. It might be I think it might just be a little too plain if we left it as is. I think it would still need one more thing to crown like to crown it. And I really think I mean I I know onion tanglers, onion strings, whatever you want to call them, would complete this so well. I just don't know how many people would get really excited for something that has onions on it because not everyone likes them. Thanks, Reese of Snowy. I'm just going to go with heart. I'm going with my heart. I'm doing I'm doing the onion strings. Oh, let him cook. See, Grilliam likes it. Grilliam lost his fucking mind on that. Like, to me, that just looks good. Like, to me, I think that wins. The onion ring slash strings will add that crunch to it. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. It just, it, it completes it super well. It's just onion itself. There's a lot of people that don't like it. But you know what? If they don't like it, then they're not welcome at Burger King in the first place. That's what I say. Close the door in their fucking face. We run it. Just give me my million dollars now. What the fuck? Here it is. Isn't it glorious? You ruined it! What am I looking at? How is this worse than my Pepto bread burger? What did you do, Grilliam? No! They actually served the nasty patty! I This is like real effort into this one, too. How did this happen? Where did it all go so wrong? What is the green? What what did what here is the green? What onions are they using? Do they not oh maybe they don't know onion strings. But no, but this they have this down here and that's kinda close. They're not fried, but that's something I could tell them at the headquarters. This, I don't know what the fuck I'm looking at. 
Why would they use that? Also, where's my mozzarella? Oh, is this my mozzarella? You can still edit the Whopper. Well, that's just changing the Good. ingredients. Now, what's on your Whopper? Oh, wait, maybe it'll generate it differently this time. How magnificent. You should be proud. Don't you fucking patronize me, Grillium. Why? Why is it generating so poorly? In my head, the presentation is flawless. How do you ruin this? And this isn't even ranch, this is way too viscous. They've put marshmallow paste up here or something. What is going- what- how did this all go so wrong? The list is what submitted image doesn't matter. I bet the council's probably fucking illiterate. It's Burger King. They're going to just look at images and they'll be like, Ooh, this is the prettiest one. This needs to be presentable! It says on the bottom. Uh oh, <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, we're good. I'll make the ad now. No Whopper is complete without a proper jingle. Let's crown your Whopper creation. Uh, this is, yeah, I'd say this is going to be their new signature Whopper, to be fair. It's definitely not old school. This is that new age fancy schmancy shit. This is going to be their signature. All right, let's see how the ad goes. I'll put my whole name on this one. Charles... No spaces. Charles White. Nope. Not in their database. Okay. Just Charles. Okay. Come on now. You've let me do this twice already. Hey, Jamie. I appreciate that, Adam. And hope you're doing well. I think the Burger King AI malfunctioned because it didn't recognize good ingredients. <laughs> it didn't even know what it looks like. Matsu, Matsu, who is it? Matsu, what the fuck is that? We use that dumpster cheese. Hash brown patty called a rosti to called a rosti in Germany. Learned about it while I was stationed over there. Pretty damn good on a burger. No, I know hash brown patties can go really well on burgers. I can't remember who does it, but we did one for a tier list once. It was a banger. Here's your Whopper ad. Blow me away. This is Charles's signature Whopper with mozzarella and other toppers with some bacon and ranch in there. Try and top that if you dare. BK, have it your way. You rule. We're going to need to take a new picture of the, the burger once we get it in circulation on the menu, but for now, that's a good ad. I could see that airing in between SpongeBob reruns on Nickelodeon right now. That is solid. Not as good as the bread Pepto Whopper. Well, Grilliam really put his heart and soul into the bread Pepto Whopper. This one was strictly a contract, but the other one was passion. Alright, well we got three entries in. Let's see if I win a million dollars from my least favorite restaurant on the planet next to Long John Silver's. God, that'd be so poetic. That would be a storybook moment you should see if you can run that ad at the Super Bowl <laughs> is it too late to get a slot I mean what's this like 20 seconds that's only you know that's fucking 20 million worth the return on investment would go crazy.
million dollars, but it can only be spent in Burger King. Imagine that'd be a fate worse than death. You get a million Burger King token, just an exclusive currency to their restaurants. Good God. He's a prime RSD in the membership Dumbo. Should have put marinara sauce on it with the mozzarella. That's also pretty solid. I saw a couple people in chat mention that. That would have gone pretty hard too, but I really just always like the barbecue ranch combo. I just think you can't go wrong. Ooh, goddamn Dumbo. Thank you for the big drop. Appreciate the generosity. Makes the resub club. Only need to get top three. We got a chance. Yeah, well, there is there is a vi like a very very slim chance. We have three things working on our favor for making top three. One, it's actually a pretty solid sandwich. Like I think the council might appreciate it. Two, it's Burger King, so no one actually eats there, and there's not a single human being besides me that's signing up for the fucking app. So I doubt many people will go through the process. And then three, it's a pretty fucking banging sandwich. Like I think the council's gonna love it. I like our odds. All three of your burgers. <laughs> yeah. The top three burgers are just the three we made. It's a fucking sweep. And it's in Miami, so you can go there without flying. Another huge benefit that I can... Yeah, exactly. I can go there without flying. You can put marijuana as one of them. Make a tailored, make one tailored to potheads who are hungry. I mean, that's not a terrible idea either. Stoner food. Make a whole different menu item or a whole different like secret menu. Do you think they watch it all? They rando pick fifty and select from that. I know. <laughs> I'm living in a fantasy, but it's fun to imagine. It's fun to play with. I think there is a 0% chance the three people on the council are going to be wading through all of these. <clears throat> if you want my conspiracy on how I think this is going to go, knowing now that there's a council, supposedly, I think what will happen is they're going to use AI to comb through all of the submissions and just handpick the ones that match what they want to already release as a limited time item. Like, I'm sure Burger King has a lot of, like, different menu items that they want to release but don't really have an occasion for. So they'll probably just look for anyone that created a sandwich that matches those specifications and be like, Oh, look at this, it's a fucking amazing sandwich! And choose that. I'd say yes to that, Pim, though. That'd make me giggle. Yeah. Hey, Braden, hope you're doing well. And true. A sauerkraut sandwich fits at Burger King. <laughs> I mean, I guess. God, holy shit. Thank you again, Dumbo. Thank you so much for the generosity, man. Imagine they put your burger ad on billboards. Well, both of my AI-generated burgers looked like shit, so we'll need to refine that. But the actual burger's content, like the ingredients, were fire. Shit, even that Pepto burger I would eat.
Have you, yeah, I saw the Apex changes. Confusing. Thanks, EM. With a mill, buy a local Burger King and replace it. I wonder how much it costs to franchise a location. For Burger King, it's probably not that much, right? A mill might actually do it. That sounds like a terrible idea, Olive Garden. I would not do that. Would you ever consider opening a restaurant? Um, not like a restaurant of my own. Like I wouldn't want to like make the menu or like hire staff or anything like that. But a buddy of mine actually does do restaurants and I invested in a few of his because they're like my favorite spots in Tampa, but they're not really the restaurants that I made or anything. I wouldn't want to do that. Do you read channel off YouTube, Twitch, or both? I have them combined, so I see them both. Make your burger on a cooking stream. I don't know. If, the, if it actually seems like there's somewhat of a chance, I'll at least make my burger to try it. Like, I'll have a real chef make my burger and we can try it. Including the Pepto burger. That could be fun. We'll see. We'll play it by ear. Imagine Long John Silver does their own contest, a million dollars to make an edible menu item. God bless. Thanks to the resub crusader. Why don't you go to any wrestling events? Well, usually they're just far away. I really wanted to go to, to the Royal Rumble recently. But unfortunately, it was on a really bad day for me. Thanks to resub toxic. So I couldn't go to it. But I really wanted to. I would have. If it was pretty much any other day. What about Mania in Philly? Way too far. They have the choosing and reasons all spelled out in detail and the criteria on the actual rules, like on their site. Where? There's a prime horse. Could be open to it, crit. Where are the, uh... There's my submitted ones. Man, they look glorious. Right here. So, you're here to make a whopper. Well, I'm your trusty AI oh companion. Oh my god, this is a lot. And I'll be at your side as you craft your flame-grilled creation. I'm not reading all creation that. <laughs> that could be worth one million dollars. I'll, I'll just be pleasantly surprised or expectedly disappointed if I don't win. Oh, we went over the entire Rock and Cody situation yesterday. I don't know if it's up on the second channel or not yet, but yeah, they really fucked that up.
Who's your wrestling goat? Kane. Third place gets two a hundred K and second place gets two hundred K. Hey, 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 that ain't bad. Again, just top three. All we need is top three. I think we have a good chance. I like our odds. The Shockmaster. He's up there. I do love the Shockmaster. An iconic entrance. Would winning change your opinion on Burger King? <laughs> no. And I wouldn't even pretend that it would. I would openly clown on them. if I, Like I said, if I won the million dollars, they'd never hear the end of it. They need to like redo their whole menu for me to change my mind. I again, I think it's trash. But if I won, boy would I be happy. And I would make sure that my Whopper is fucking good. I'd make sure they do it right. Unfortunately, Josh, yeah. <laughs> Bro thinks he would get to have a say. I know, that's delusional to think that. How tragic would it be if you win and don't like your own burger? I just don't see a world where I wouldn't like my own burger. Like that, it really does sound like an absolute banger. They'd have to truly get the worst possible quality ingredients to ruin that one. Will you be doing a live MWL? Yeah, like I said, end of 2024 plans is we're trying to build up our storylines in the MWL and culminate into a live event at the end of the year. I think it's the Resub Imperial. So yeah, we're, we're trying to work towards that. Any updates to your dad's car? Yep, they got the body off. They did quite a bit. The main thing is getting the body off, though, so they can start really working on it. Thanks, Rain. Sleep well. What car? My dad found an old 32 Ford, which is his dream car. So him and his buddy are fixing it up to make it like the American Graffiti 32. My dad and his dad built the 32 when he was a kid. Well, when he was like, I think from the age of 16 to 18 or something. I can't remember. But he and his dad, my dad and his dad, my grandfather, built the 32 together. And then my dad sold it and has regretted it ever since. Well, not really regretted it because he got a great deal for it. Especially because he didn't, he, you know, he didn't, he he didn't know how much it would like mean down the line, and also it was a lot of money, it was like seven grand. But he's always wanted another one to build it. And yeah, I don't think the Netflix Avatar is going to be very good, lamp.
That's a wild idea, Oscar. You and your dad should fight each other in the MWL. Your stories can revolve around your disagreements on alien conspiracies. That's a fucking crazy one. Also, my dad would brutalize me. He is 6'5", like 250. I wouldn't stand a chance. How are you short? My mom's 5'2". What happened to you? Again, my mom's 5'2". I got unlucky. I, I got more on her height side. Bad RNG. <laughs> yeah, unlucky. Yeah, I know. It was just... Just unfortunate. No, it doesn't matter too much now. I mean, nothing I can do to change it. Being short's just something that's immutable. So, no point in crying about it. it is what it is. I'm surprised you guys haven't done an alien-themed storyline yet for the MWL. Oh, just wait. We have a really cool alien storyline that we've already planned out. It's a really deep and an intricate one. We just haven't been able to get it all set up yet. You can get the leg lengthening surgery but not be able to play basketball or any other for the rest of your life. Yeah, that's the, we talked about this a while ago because there was a viral video popping off about like two guys who did the leg lengthening surgery. You don't win. Like when you get the leg lengthening surgery, it looks like you got a leg lengthening surgery. And I'm happy that they're happy, but the internet is not. So like they were still getting dunked on, like short at heart, so cringe. Like, you don't, like, there's nothing you can do. Even if you do the surgery, people will still insult you for it. So you can't really come out on top. You'll still always be insulted for it. And you also ruin your quality of life down the line. So it's just, it's truly not worth it. Can Goatman be involved in the MWL? Oh, of course he can. And he probably will. Yeah, you're not short, Doomed. 5'11's not short. These are the bits, Dominus. Hey, sleep well, Waddlesworth. Sweet dreams. 5'6 instead of 6'5. Yeah, I know. Again, just unlucky. Have you seen Yandere Dev's new apology? He made a new one? I know the one he made a couple weeks ago. We talked about that. I didn't know he made another one. Unless you're referring to that one. Am I looking forward to the new Quake game? I can't remember seeing anything from the new Quake game.
Hey, thanks, Michael. And nope, I've never tried sour cream Oreos. Speaking of wrestling, my wife's mom married hardcore married hardcore Holly, so I get to see him on holidays. <laughs> well, that's cool. Bring, please bring Glue Man in as a cameo for the MWL. We have a really cool idea with Germa for the MWL. We have so many cool MWL ideas. It's just that's such a big undertaking doing the MWL content that it takes a long time. So we just haven't been able to film them yet. But the one we have with Germa, I think is such a banger. Thanks for the membership law games. I thought it'd be cool if you hired professional hairstylists to do something wild with your hair. Get Danny and Matt to judge. Eh, I don't know about that. I don't know if I'd, I'd want to do that. Started at the gym this week. Any tips? No tips, just consistency. You just make, just push through seven days. Staying consistent. Make it a habit. It gets so much easier after that. Consistency is key. Is every is key for everything in the human experience. I mean, it actually is. It's also like one of the very few things that will always be in your control. How consistent you are at something. And once you make something a routine or a habit, it becomes so much easier. Isn't there a quote where it takes like how many days to make a habit and how many days to break? I don't remember. But I, there is one. It takes like seven days to make a habit and one day to break it. I don't remember. Thanks, membership C. That's definitely a good hype. That could work. Thanks, resub Angie. That's the way the NBA is trending, so you're going to want to be over seven feet. And yeah, I saw it ice. 21 days to make, one day to break. My wife and I can't decide what to name our son. We're stuck between Landon and Arthur. Please decide for us. Have you considered Jericamo? Not to throw a monkey wrench into the equation, but just maybe food for thought. Out of those two, though, I'd say probably Arthur. I think that's always such a cool name. Thanks, are resub delicious. I am not going to get the Apple Vision Pro. I would never use them, and they're very expensive. I would be down to try them, like if someone has a pair, like one of our friends, and like brings it around, I'd try it, but I wouldn't buy one. I would never use it. Have a good night, Hayden. The government has began asking Tesla drivers to not use Apple Vision Pro while driving. Yeah, I've seen like five videos pop up of that. We ever show your workout routine? I used to do some workout streams occasionally. I think at some point I'll probably do more with it. Right now I'm just trying to bang out skills mainly. 
So outside of just normal weightlifting, I've been doing a lot of like calisthenic skills that I want to pull off. So right now the big one I'm going for is the front lever. I'll probably do more. You ever do bouldering? Yep. I used to do bouldering quite a bit. We used to go once a week, but I haven't in a long time now. Can you speed run Atlas again with the newfound strats? The record's 4 minutes 39 seconds. We saw! I was thinking about it, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to revisit it again. But I did see the new strats, they're fire. You see the video of the Florida man who drove his truck into the ocean because he wanted to surf with it? Was that today? Let me see. Man accused of driving into ocean at Florida Beach. Video of the incident from the sheriff's office shows bruise. Wow. Bruzevskvitsk in his white pickup truck allegedly driving down the shallow waters for over a minute. And at one point he's attempting to do a donut. That name is crazy. Look at this. He also looks super happy about it. Look at that name. Jason Bruzus Bruzuskiewicz. Wow. That's cool. When I served, my work was Another critical. Another ad. Always ads. Unlucky. A beach today. This guy right here decided to do a little beach driving, even though there wasn't much of a beach today. Yeah, you see, I mean, it's kind of working there now. This man is facing charges. Fox 25 charges of what having too much fun slide from where this all happened. Kelsey, thankfully, deputies stopped him right in the nick of time. Before what happened? That's right. Vincent Before he ripped a gnarly wave? Very differently. Now we know that Volusia County deputies, they arrested him not long after he was caught. This white pickup truck seen driving through the surf here at New Smyrna Beach. Oh, wait, that drift. Nine year old Jason Bruschkovich behind bars in Volusia Bruschkovich. County. His jellyfish joyride coming to a halt when deputy vehicles arrived on scene. Good question. I mean, that's a good point. From New York, drove it's not his fault the truck doesn't surf. And proceeded to make his way towards the water. Keep in mind, the beach was closed Tuesday due to high surf. We see a lot of unusual stuff here, but that's probably the dumbest thing I have ever seen. Jeff Buckingham, who works at a bar on the beach, has a panoramic view of the waves. When he saw that a New Yorker was arrested and booked on a $200 bond. It probably cost more than that to tow it out of the water. You wouldn't catch me driving a pickup truck in three foot deep water. Well, no shit. Yeah, That's what separates you from Bruschkovitz. Every day. Now he was arrested around lunch. The ambition. Today, and at last check, he's still sitting in Volusia County Jail on that $200 bond. Reporting live in Volusia County, I'm Kelsey Cairns, Fox 35 News. A wild ride, Kelsey. Thank you. Are that is a really good advertisement for the truck, though. I thought for sure that wouldn't survive, but it looks like it did. Until they had to tow it out, I guess.
Godzilla show moist meter? Is there a Godzilla show out right now? I'm going to try Helldivers 2 on February 8th. I plan on it, but it's up to my friends if they're around. So we'll see. Maybe. February 8th is tomorrow, by the way, but yeah, we'll see. I might play it even if they're not around. We'll see. You see the console warriors coping on Twitter? No, but I bet that was like D-Day for Xbox enthusiasts. Holy shit, I can't even imagine what the accounts were posting. I don't really go on Twitter much anymore, except to make just shit posts now. But I bet they lost their mind. Yeah, that was the plagiarism video smack. That was like almost two months ago now, I think. Yeah, we talked about that quite a bit. And yeah, Florida is fun. You're a Sony pony. That's disappointing. Oh my god, you're you're a console wars patriot. That's disappointing. Neither console is really worth getting. If you have a PC, there's no reason to get a console right now. Console is good for like the price point, but if you're getting it just for exclusives, it's just truly not worth it. Especially not Xbox if you have a PC, because you can just get it on PC right now. And at least on PC, it's 60 FPS every time. I disagree, it's for sentimental reasons. Yeah, it's hundreds of dollars for sentiment sentimentality. Like, I just, I don't get it. That, that doesn't seem worth it to me. Again, if you have a PC. If you don't, then it makes sense. Because it's cheaper to just get a console. And for sure drills. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Awkward. And no, uh, I don't know if I'll play the Persona 3 remake. I don't think I will. It's just such a huge time conve time investment. Might be the last time I buy a PlayStation now that they'll slowly release titles on PC, honestly. True, yeah. They're going that route as well. Is Xbox doing that too? They've been doing that. Every Xbox exclusive is also on PC on launch. And usually the PC counterpart is better. Like Redfall was not even 60 FPS on the Xbox for which it was the exclusive. It was pathetic. No, I didn't see that at all, Gremlin. Sounds awful. So Xbox is going under? No, so the rumor is that Xbox is tinkering around with the idea of porting all of their exclusives to PlayStation as well, which gives you even less reason to own an Xbox. Like, there's just like even less reasons to own it but from a business standpoint i think it's kind of smart because playstation doesn't really have any good shooters and xbox does and did like there's a lot of titles that i think would do really well on playstation so it's smart business wise for the games themselves but bad for the xbox brand
what's the best live band you've seen? I don't really go to many concerts. You know what band was extremely good live? Um, Until I Wake. I went to a concert and they were part of the lineup. I actually wasn't even familiar with them until that concert. But they fucking crushed it. Until I Wake went hard. So they'd probably be the best band I've seen live. The best concert I've ever seen live is Post Malone's. And that's not even just because I'm like a Post Malone fanatic. That concert was unbelievably hype. I had so much fucking fun at that show. You mean you didn't enjoy the Eminem Fortnite event? Well, that's, you know, that's third place. Yeah, I guess to a certain extent, Dragon. But not like the Switch or anything. That's still going super strong. Unless you've been to a metal concert with a band like Metallica, you ain't seen nothing. I would not see Metallica live. <laughs> I would not. No. Here by the college dean who got fired in Wisconsin for appearing in adult videos. Yeah, we talked about that when it happened. It wasn't a dean, though. Wasn't he just a professor? I don't think he was a dean. I went to a Joji concert and man brought out a 10 Jack Sparrows and called it a nation national jack-off. That sounds so fun. I bet that was a great time. Alright. I'm getting tired, though. I'm gonna call it a night. Alright. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate the generosity. Have a great rest of your evening, everybody. Sleep well. I hope you all have wonderful dreams. Bye-bye. See you soon.